What is up YouTube? It's your boy I'm Ray coming at you with another video and before we go in I want to tell you to make sure you uh, comment, like, subscribe, uh, share the video, hit the notification bell so you can catch up uh, our upcoming videos. Uh, this video is going to be about birdshot. Is birdshot sufficient for home defense? Uh, I've heard a lot of back and forth, you know, whether you know it's a terrible load or whether it's a good load. Uh, but there are several different var variables. First and foremost, there are several different types of uh, bird shot loads. And the shot that I use for this specific video is going to be, uh, you know, seven and a half shot. And basically the shot size, as the shot size go down, uh, you know, the actual load gets a little bit heavier. So, you know, seven and a half shot versus four shot, the four shot would be the more lethal load. So I use something on the lower end. Um, what I've seen in, you know, just my little small consultation is that, you know, at close range, uh, pretty much all shotgun shells uh, behave the same. Well, not all the way the same, but pretty much the same. You're going to get uh, a tighter wad instead of a spread because it takes time to spread. Uh, but birdshot does spread uh, significantly faster than its uh, larger cousin buckshot. But at close range, um, you know, this can do some uh, definite damage uh, to a human being. Um, we went out and did a little shooting. I didn't, didn't do a lot, just did, you know, did a few targets here. And um, this is what one of my targets looked like with birdshot. You see all of that, and then you see this big hole here. And my question to you, uh, do you think a burglar would stop what he's doing? after being hit like this, especially with this big hole here, which could do terminal damage. I would say so. I think if, you know, someone was trying to break in your home, you hit them with a load right here in center mass like this, I think they'll stop what they're doing. Unless they're probably wearing some extremely, you know, thick clothing or something like that. But during summertime, hitting someone with minimum clothing on like this right here and getting a nice hole like that right there, I think that'll stop them <laughs> from what they're doing and probably put them on the ground. Um, but I, there's been a lot of videos out here saying that birdshot is crap. Um, I buy a lot of birdshot. It's not what I use primarily for my home defense. But if I ever ran out of home defense ammo, I would still have something that I can shoot out of my uh, gun. Just like a uh, you know 22 long rifle, man. It's all about shot placement, and you know you may have to put a multitude of shot on a person. But uh, birdshot can definitely get the shot, you know, get the job done. You know, again, it's not what I prefer personally. But to say that it is junk. Uh, I would have to disagree. Hopefully you guys can get me in the camera. All right, you two, we're back. And basically what I was doing is I was shooting it at home defense range. I did a measurement of my home. And I think my furthest shot, you know, from hallway to front door is probably going to be about 20 feet. I did it about 15 feet. And again, at close range, man, uh, like I said, this is pretty good damage. I know as, you know, the yards expand and as you go further out, you know, you're going to have a lot of more drop off on, you know, the lighter uh, bird shot. But at close range, man, it's especially uh, number four shot because, again, this is... Uh, you know, seven and a half. If this is uh, number four at turkey load, it would do some serious damage. But in my opinion, uh, like I said, birdshot uh, can definitely do some really, really uh, big damage at a close range for home defense. And another thing, too, that um, will give it the leg up is penetration. Um, if you miss, uh, you don't have to worry about it tearing through four uh, walls of drywall like a double up buckshot or a slug. So you're going to have uh, the ability of, you know, having less penetration. Now you lose some power, like I said, but at close range, man, that's, you know, something I wouldn't want to be in front of. But, um, you know, it's not going to be the same as, you know, obviously number three buckshot. This is what I use for home defense. It's going to be number three buckshot, which has 21 pellets. Obviously the pellets and buckshot are going to be bigger uh, than birdshot. But again, uh, to say birdshot is junk, um, after looking at this, I would... Beg to differ. I know this is not a, uh, you know, soft tissue and this is not wood or concrete or anything like that. But seeing that big hole right there, you know, would give any intruder pause. You know, if they got that put in them, I think that would be decent. I don't know what the penetration would be. 
but I think it would stop an intruder. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have. Just wanted to just kind of, you know, go over it and uh, just tell you what my thoughts on it. Um, if you if there if you can't find any ammo, buy birdshot. It's available. Buy it, man. Buy any kind of ammo that you can. You know, if you can't find, you know, full metal jacket, you know, you can't find hollow point for your nine millimeter. Buy a full metal jacket. You know, buy what you can. You know, that's basically what I do. I do have plenty of buckshot, have plenty of slugs or anything like that, but I always buy uh, this bird shot because it's very, very cheap. And I just like stockpiling ammo, man. You know, that's what I do. But that's pretty much all I have, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Two way up, the Second Amendment shall not be in French. Have a great day.